Welcome back to another video, family. Today, I'm going to talk about scammers. I know people are still traveling outside the country, going all over the place, and scammers are working hard to try to get people's money. You see it all over the news. People are getting duped out of their hard work, hard earns money. And today, I'm going to give you 10 ways to know that you are being scammed or you are about to be scammed. Number one. If whoever you talking to starts telling you they cannot call you or they cannot communicate with you because their phone is broke or the screen is broke so they can't call you this and that, you are getting ready to be scammed. Why is that? Because they know you want to talk to them, you want to reach them, so they start making these excuses for you to buy them a phone. And if you buy them a phone, that's a bait and it's going to happen out I'll get you caught up right in the middle of this. Number two, if they continue telling you about the hard times where they are, know that that is a setup and that is also throwing you a line. And if you start, you start feeling sorry for them, you start feeling empathy for them, yes, that is when they start hooking you. Number three, their family member is very sick in the hospital or they just now died, or somebody died, this and that. So, you know, that is bait. Beware of that. Number four, they have inherited a huge sum of amount of money, or a huge sum of money, and they need your help to be able to cash that amount, or they need your help to be able to get a hold of that amount. Number five, they always start a conversation with, you know, I just met you and I do not want to stress you with my conversation or with my problems. Oh, you know, I just met you, so I don't want to bug you with my situations. Number six, please, 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 I don't know how to ask you, but please give me 50 bucks or please give me $10. I have to pay something real quick and I'll pay you back. Now, guess what? They are actually going to pay you back. But once they pay you back, guess what happened? Now, they have gained your trust. So next, that's a setup for them to be able to ask you for a bigger amount. They will pay you back for that as well. Now, the much bigger amount you will never get. That's, that's when you get duped. So remember that. Be mindful of that. <coughs> Number seven, if the person only gives you a number, that is a Google number. The Google number is when you can't really call back, but they can always call you. Please, any number you receive from this person you're talking to, make sure you Google their number and check it. You can tell it if it's a Google number. It will tell you, please do not fall prey to this. Number eight, you never... You never, ever, ever can get a hold of them when you call. But they will text you right back. Or they can call you right back, but you cannot call them. That's how you know the number is a Google number. Or the number is a fake number. Number nine. They never, ever answer video calls. Because they don't want you to see them when you call. So please also be mindful of that. They don't want you to see exactly who you're talking to, who they are. They can paint you a, paint, a picture. Usually scammers are always using somebody else's pictures. So now be mindful. Not all that glitter is gold. Not all that glitters is gold. Please, please, please stop falling for these fake pictures. You're about to get scammed. Number 10. They will never talk to you in the same place twice. Because they're always moving. It's like a drug dealer. The, the scammers are always moving. So even if you can talk to them, they will always talk to you in different places, different places, because you will never know where they are. If this happens, be mindful. Don't go cash all your money for them. They start asking you for your, your date of birth, your name. What is your full name? What is this? What is just them gathering information? to be able to use against you, to be able to scam you when it's time. Now, 
Number 11, which is a bonus. I told you 10, but I'm going to give you one for a bonus. If this person, he or she, always get upset whenever you do not buy into their money conversations because they're going to bring out, they're going to slowly dip in conversations about money. And if you do not buy into that conversation and they get upset, you do not need them in your life anyways. Please be mindful, be careful when you're out there talking to these people. This does not mean all Africans or all foreigners are fake or all foreigners are scammers or all Africans are scammers. But yes, it is hard down there. And these people will do anything to scam you. So please use your common sense. Think twice. And try to learn people before you go dumping all your money because you will be a fool to allow yourself to be scammed. But it happens. And people still continually getting scammed. Please be careful. Watch yourself and protect your investment. Protect your hard-earned money. Because if not, you will be scammed. You will look like a fool at the end of the day. And trust me, it is not worth it. You've worked all your life to put these money, this money away. Why allow somebody to scam you and dump out all your money in one day or after one conversation? Investigate these people, talk to these people, learn these people, find out these tricks, find out these ways, and trust me, your money will be safe. I am African, I am from Ghana, but I'm giving you this information because you do not need to be scammed. Be careful and be safe.